Two beavers are better than one. They're twice the fun. Ask anyone. A second beaver can be second to none. And beaver is going to be the resource, the economic resource, that's going to lead to conflict between France, the Dutch, the British, and various Native American tribes. Thanks for checking out this lecture on the Beaver Wars. Now, this story really begins with all these different parties involved in a lot of diplomacy, joining sides, and deciding who they're going to stay with. And New France was in love with, or had an alliance with, the Huron tribe and a lot of the Algonquin-speaking tribes of the Upper Great Lakes Canada region. And France, ever since it was established by Samuel de Champlain back in 1608, had established these relationships with various native people in this region. Now, when the Dutch come, you know, they start their first fort in 1614, then they establish Fort Orange shortly later, they establish trade relationships with the very powerful Iroquois Confederacy. And the Iroquois Confederacy consisted of these five tribes, the most important one being the Mohawk native people. And these different European countries are forming these alliances because they are mutually beneficial. The Native Americans are forming these alliances because they're mutually beneficial. They're getting European goods, and France and Holland are getting resources. So you have this diplomacy taking place from the moment the European settlers establish their colonies. And this trade develops over time. You know, the big item is, of course, fur. That's one of the primary economic motives of both New France and New Netherlands. And here you got native people trading with Dutch settlers. And of course, this creates profound changes amongst the native people. You know, all these new goods are coming into their um, tribe, including alcohol. And this is going to be a rather negative impact on native culture. Now, the big thing that happens, though, is the demand from the Europeans for fur. Because they really, really wanted it. Leads to a huge decline in the beaver population of this, what would be New York area. The Iroquois territory was being depleted very quickly of the beaver population. And the reason why this is a bad thing from both sides is if the Dutch, their trading partner, the Iroquois, are unable to bring them these furry little creatures, their profits are going down. And remember, the whole purpose for their colony existing was for profit. And on the flip side, the Iroquois want to keep bringing in this stuff into the fort, Fort Orange or New Amsterdam, because that gives them access to very valuable European trade. So the population is being depleted because the demand is so high. And one of the big reasons why it's able to be depleted so quickly is because of the introduction of guns. You know, European settlers had brought in guns, brought in things like guns, and these guns intensified rivalries. You know, there was already rivalries before the Europeans come. Now the stakes become even higher. And with the guns, they're able to hunt more efficiently, but also more destructively. And the beaver population of this area is decimated. There's a huge decline of the beaver in Iroquois territory. Now, another factor contributing to this is, of course, that even before these colonies got established, their contact with European fishermen and explorers had led to <coughs> disease <coughs> and a huge decline in the population. You know, the numbers, you know, no one knows for sure, but the population of native people, especially the Iroquois and other northeastern tribes, had dropped. Smallpox is the big one, but other diseases as well. So what ends up happening is you have all these different factors that leads to the situation is about to go down. It's going down, baby. 
because the Iroquois tribe, at the encouragement of the Dutch, begin an aggressive campaign to expand their hunting grounds. And what they end up doing is they start heading up into the Great Lakes region, looking for new beaver populations to hunt and bring back to the colony of New Netherlands. And the reason why the Dutch are encouraging it is to get the profit, but also that puts them into competition with the French and the French and their native allies, the Huron tribe. And so you have this intense conflict boiling over because in 1638, you start getting some fighting taking place. In fact, you get the Iroquois tribe, you see them over here, moving up into traditional Algonquin Indian territory, the Huron tribe, going towards New France, and this is freaking out the French settlers. And they start attacking tribes, the first attack in 1638, but they also start attacking Huron villages along the St. Lawrence River right here. And the French, there was attempts at negotiation, they refused. You know, in fact, there's this famous moment where the Iroquois tribe brings 80 canoes filled with fur to sell to the French, and the French refuse. They say, sell it to Laurent, and we'll be, you know, the middleman over there. This leads to all-out fighting. Now, the fighting is really bloody. It's really horrible. There's a series of battles from 1638 all the way to 1698. It gets so bad that the French need to bring in reinforcements to defend the colony and to defend their native allies. And the Iroquois are wreaking all sorts of havoc, but then things turn around. And the big reason is, remember what happens in 1664, the colony of New Amsterdam, New Netherlands, is abandoned by the Dutch when the English swoop in and rename it New York. And that's a big moment because now the Iroquois lack support for their war effort because there's nobody giving them those guns that they needed to continue on. Now, there is a brief moment where the English, the English colonists, remember they're all up here in New England, they're up here in, in New York, they start giving some weapons because they see the Iroquois as a powerful buffer, a potential ally against Catholic France. So you have that going on for a brief period. 1698, the Beaver Wars come to an end. There's the Great Peace of Montreal. There's a peace treaty that's signed. And the reason why it really ends is, one, the Dutch are gone, the English are kind of filling that role, but the Iroquois begin to question their relationship with England because they start seeing England with their huge numbers of settlers as the bigger threat than France. And so they're going to take a step back from their relationship with England. Um, remember, Pennsylvania is established in 1681. More and more English settlers are coming there and they're moving into traditional Iroquois land. That sums up the Beaver Wars. It's a great example of conflict and diplomacy amongst Native Americans and European colonists. And of course, two beavers are better than one. They're twice the fun. Ask anyone. A second beaver two beavers are better than one. Those are the terms for those of you in the Ape Push world. There it is on the map where the battles took place. There's a whole bunch of them. You don't need to worry about individual battles. And once again, thank you for watching, subscribe to Joe's Productions, like the video, post a comment, tell your friends, and have a beautiful, beautiful night. Peace.